What up? Uncle Jesse, what you welcome. How are you today, fine people? It is about that time. 2018 Bowman Baseball Hobby. Four box break number 45. Let's get it popping. You know, Daniel, that does not matter. Okay? What matters is that it's in my heart. I've been a Dolphin fan all my life. Therefore, I am allowed to use that as a valid excuse. All right? I care. I care. Nobody has to care. That's fine. But my Dolphins fans know what's up. But uh, what, what are the Seahawks looking like lately, though? <laughs> they are trash. That's what. <laughs> they are booty. Seahawks suck now. They went from having one of the best defenses we've seen and we haven't seen in years. And now they're they're back to being a joke. Big Ten analysis. I am freaking lovely. How are you, my guy? All right. Let me put this on. The, I like to put the title up on the screen. So let me do that. <clears throat> How's everybody's Sunday going? Y'all doing some barbecue? What's going on in everybody's neck of the woods? I hope your team is winning. If you're a Patriots fan, <laughs> you suck. Patriots suck. And if you're a Dolphin fan, get them fins up, baby. Get them fins up. You know, Detroit has a lot of talent. I think Patricia's going to turn that team around in a few years. But it's going to take a few years. Same with the Titans. You know, those ex-Patriot coaches uh, definitely putting in that work. But, you know, it takes years to, to, to change the culture around, especially in Detroit, man. Wait, let me grab the boxes. Ah, man. Not much can happen today that's going to ruin my day. Dolphins won. I am happy. Michael Shaw is snowed in. You watch the Panthers lose again, now five in a row. Let me ask you something, uh, Michael. How, how do you guys go from being in the Super Bowl... A few years ago to being one of the most disappointing teams in the league like what is going on I don't understand that whole Super Bowl hangover situation like I guess it's because you know teams are going after you now or, or I don't know anyways before I continue yep this is hobby all right okay here we go man Megatron was the man I sound so much better when the sound is off. <laughs> Seattle Seahawks. I mean, they're an okay, they're an okay team. You know. All I'm saying is, if you're gonna talk trash, don't attack my Dolphins. You know, or the claws are gonna come out. That's all I'm saying. You know, I, I would I would not have said a word about the Seahawks had uh, had Daniel Boy not came through and uh, you know personally attacked my family. I will not. Uh, I will not stand for it. I don't care who you are. Well, Big Ten. I got this foot. I got this eBay stuff uh, going on right now. Uh, I do have. Uh, I got an Origins football break on eBay that you can still bid on. Uh, let me give you the link to that. Uh, I'll put it in the chat here for you. So as far as eBay stuff is concerned, there's the link if you want to check it out. You still have time to bid on some stuff. Uh, here, let me put the link down over on Breakers too. We got that going on. But we also have breaks on our website, uh, ripcitycars.com. So let me direct you there real quick. Now, eBay stuff is cool. It's fine and dandy and all that good stuff. Uh, but any breaks, uh, or I should say any uh, anything that ends tonight will not uh, be breaking tonight as far as eBay is concerned. Uh, so I should say any listings that end tonight will break tomorrow. Uh, make sure you read the description of the eBay listings because it does have the break date, schedule, and time and all that good, uh, good stuff on there. 
Uh, but as far as like football breaks that could happen tonight, check it out. Check out our website out, ripcitycars.com. I got some Phoenix football in the store. I got F Elements football. I got certified football. I got Leaf Trinity uh, football. Leaf Flash football. So yeah, you know, I, I got I got stuff to play with. I also got some baseball stuff. Oh, I forgot about the flawless collegiate football right there. So check out our website, ripcitycars.com. Uh, first time customers on our website save fifteen dollars off their first purchase, and that is only to be used on our website. Uh, sorry, eBay, you guys get a pretty sweet deal as it is uh, with the auctions. But yeah, we we got breaks on our website. We also have breaks on eBay. Uh, like I said, as far as eBay is concerned, make sure you read the description for the break date, time, and schedule. As far as the website's concerned, we don't break anything on our website until all teams are sold out. So if you guys uh, you know, are down to hang out with me, talk some football tonight, you know, get some breaks going after eBay stuff is, is done, I'm pretty sure we can break that Phoenix football, that Elements football, certified football. I'm pretty sure we can knock all that stuff out tonight. And I got other really cool stuff. I got Flawless Baseball in the store. Dynasty Baseball. That stuff is for the super fancy. I even got some more of this uh, baseball stuff here. It's not Bowman, but it is Topps Chrome. 2018 Topps Chrome Baseball Hobby 6 Box uh, Half Case Break. Got that on the website as well. And not to mention uh, the upcoming Bowman Draft Baseball, which is to, to release later this week. Uh, Friday if I'm not mistaken we already have that in the store if you want to go ahead and just buy your team and pick them up that way come Friday we ripping Bowman all day long it's gonna be a Bowman day in case uh, you're wondering for the 14th which is Friday but yeah I'm happy Dolphins won I had a good weekend a lot of alcohol <laughs> good times were had I cannot complain and I hope everybody is doing well as well and luckily for you I'm almost done talking because uh, it's time to show these cards so as always good luck everybody and uh, let's see what we got we got one auto per box on this stuff so let's see what we got here let me adjust that alright good luck y'all I'm going to separate everything as best as I can here just to you know help my sorters out actually I'm just going to put all the prospects together try to help my sorters out so I pre-sort it as I go Uh, yes, yeah, Steve, this, these are eBay breaks that I'm doing right now. I mean, if you want to read at the very top, there is the title of the break. This is 2018 Bowman Baseball Hobby. Four box break number 45 for eBay. You know, just got to do a little reading. Just got to do a little reading. You know. Uh, I'm trying to angle it so you guys don't have the glare, James. So please, thank you for uh, letting me know. I'm trying to keep it to a minimum. I think that's fine right there. I mean, it's not really much I can do for the glare except like angle it. So I do apologize if it looks crappy. I'm trying my best here, giving it the old college try. All right. All right. I'm doing a crappy job of separating this stuff. Prospects. You know, my sorter spend a good amount of time, you know, sorting through all this stuff. So, if I can help them out, I will do that. Cause time is money. Oh, freak of nature! How late you are, as always. Of course, I saw it. It's your birthday. How about, oh, so if I put it there, the glare is terrible. All right, for show. Sure. For show, sure. just got to let the muscle memory kick in. 
and keep it there. You were at the Dolphins game? Oh my God. You probably left. Uh, <laughs> you probably left before the fourth quarter, huh? You seem like the type, uh, freaking nature. There's our autograph. Sandro Fabian of the Giants. The autograph, it is one per box. Who doesn't hate the ball? Everybody except the except Patriots fans hates the Patriots. I think that's something we can all agree on. You know, Seahawks fans, Dolphins, all of us can agree. F the Patriots. You stay till the end. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Although I don't believe you, but okay. As you are a Lions fan and not a Dolphins fan. Carlos Correa to 250 Astros. Hey, make sure you get straight A's, Big Ten analysis. Don't grow up to be a loser like your Uncle Jesse. Lions and Dolphins beat the Patriots this year. Huh? Look, so you must be super happy. We got Chris Rodriguez of the Angels to 250. If at any point, like, the glare or something is a problem, please let me know. I'm trying to be mindful of it. But it's kind of hard to look at the screen. <laughs> and you'd be surprised. This is not as easy as it looks. I'm, I just I make it look easy. I have a I have a habit of looking up at the screen so I can keep up with the chat and whatnot. All right, you know what? I'm gonna settle a quick debate. Well, not really a debate here, but I, I gotta I gotta what's the I got a bone to pick with you, freak of nature. I am of the belief that you cannot be a fan of two teams in the same sport. Because my thing is this. Say you're like, for example, Freak of Nature claims to be a, Dolph, uh, a Dolphin fan. But he's from Detroit. So, you know, he's originally a Lions fan. And he said so before. If it's Dolphins versus Lions, he's going to root for the Lions. Therefore, you are a Lions fan. Ooh, that's nice looking. Louis Robert of the White Sox. It's not numbered or nothing, but... It is a nice looking card. So you can't, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't really be a fan of two teams. Like, it just, it does not work that way. So you are a Lions fan, but you support the Dolphins, I guess. But you can't call yourself a Dolphin fan. I would not allow it. Okay, I can, okay. I think that's something we can all agree on, freaking nature. I am a fan of whoever beats the Patriots. <laughs> I think that's something we can all agree on. Jaron Kendall to 150 Dodgers. Man, these cards kind of stick a little bit. So you got to be careful with them. Oh, it feels so good to beat the Patriots. You have, especially in the the fashion that we did it. Oh my God! I know Tom Brady's not gonna sleep tonight. Oh, he's probably gonna curse at Giselle. Then Giselle's gonna, you know, kick him to the curb. Is is gonna be the start of a downward spiral for old Tommy boy. In my dreams, this is what happens, anyways. Tomas, how you how you liking the DC lifestyle, bro? What, this subject almost ruined Thanksgiving dinner? What, being a fan of two teams? Mm. 
my man Brian says I disagree. He's a huge Cowboys fan, but I will always take any team as a favorite that beat. Oh no, agreed. That's what I'm saying. We can all agree there. We, we're all fans of any team that can beat the Patriots. Agreed. Yes. However, you're a Cowboys fan. Uh, yeah, Kyler Murray, The isn't that that kid from Oklahoma? Two years in a row that he wins the, uh, the Heisman Trophy? Is he like the best quarterback in the country? I'm assuming I haven't really kept up with uh, college football this year. Mostly because the Hurricanes have been a massive disappointment. The Boss, Hawks 4423 over on um, Breakers. What up? Yo, Tomas, not for nothing, dog. But you need to start rooting for them Chargers. Or you know what? Or continue not to root for the Chargers. Because low-key, they are my dark horse to win the Super Bowl this year. Chargers have been sneaky good this year. It feels so good to beat the Patriots. Oh. Tom Brady continues to suck in Miami. He has the most losses against any team. And that record belongs to the Dolphins. That's such an awesome record to have. I believe the, 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 the stat goes Tom Brady has an above 500 record against every NFL team on the road except the Dolphins. And he said it but many times and again. For some reason, the Patriots just suck when they come to Miami. And I know why. We just got really good drugs. You know? Bill Belichick can only keep them boys in check for so long. Gronkowski out on South Beach acting a donkey. There's just, there's just too much to do in Miami. Too much fun to be had. Too many vices. In New England, it's snowing most of the time. All right, let's see what we got here. Ah, that's right. Baker did win it last year. Yeah, I haven't kept up with college this year, man. My, my Hurricanes have been a massive disappointment. I mean, we're still going to a bowl, a bowl game, which is cool and all. But man, we 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 thought we had a national national championship team. But yeah, it's, it's a it's a good it's a good step in the right direction, I think. You know, we, we got that we let that turnover chain get to our heads a little bit too much last year. Wow, wow. Dolphins win. Patriots suck. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you right now, if you're a Patriots fan and you can't stand this kind of talk, you might want to mute me. Because <laughs> I'm going to be on it all night, baby. All right. Brendan Rodgers to 75 for the Rockies. That's a, that's a nice looking card. Brady blames the weather. I, I, dude, again, it's a factor. You know, just how New England uses their weather to their advantage, so does every NFL team. You know, Miami just has the, uh, Miami's one of those few teams with, like, you know, I want to say there's a handful of teams that just have, like, a really good home field advantage due to weather, like Denver, because they're a mile, they're, they're a mile high above, uh, above sea level, so, you know, the air's a little bit thinner, and in Miami, the humidity is, like, it's suffocating. Like you, I can't really explain it to you unless you've lived in Miami your whole life. The humidity just, it suffocates you. It really does. So playing football in those conditions gets you super tired. 
Luckily, the Dolphins are probably one of the best conditioned teams because of that. But we can't play in the cold, which is what worries me about next week. I think we play Minnesota. At Minnesota. So for us to keep our playoff hopes alive, we got to come away with a W. Anyways. Hey, hey, Ra Ra. How are uh, how are you doing? <laughs> oh, Minnesota does play indoors. I think that's still something to adjust to because in Miami we play we we have a natural uh, natural grass. We don't play on uh, on on turf or whatever. We have an actual we have natural grass in in Miami. Luis go hard at 150 for the Braves. So the, the Dolphins need some help to get into the playoffs. First things first, though, we got to take care of business. And we took care of it tonight in spectacular fashion. Logan Allen to 499 uh, for the Padres. I know I know Patriots fans are got to be hot about it. They have to. My, first of all, why would you put Gronkowski at safety? <laughs> why would you do that? Like, that's so dumb. I, I guarantee Bill Belichick never does that again. I guarantee they never put Gronkowski at safety. Why would you do that? Like, why? Oh, that's a big-time hit right there. You know, my baseball knowledge is not the greatest, but there is one thing I do know. And this man was the number one pick in the draft. So that's a pretty sick card. Royce Lewis Gold Action. Number 33 of 50. I mean, if you like nice things. What up, McBoppa? You know, when McBoppa's in the house, nice things like this come out to play. There you go. Royce Lewis. Number 33 out of 50. Very nice right there for the 2020 Twins. All right, let's keep it going. Yeah, that's what Uncle Jesse does, you know. I pull, I pull hotness every now and then, every blue moon. You got a blast. Thank you for uh, joining our breaks, my man. Uh, I do require a 10% cut of uh, any sales you make via eBay. I know where you live. So if I don't get my cut, I'm knocking on your door. All right. You got to read the fine print of the eBay listings. It says so right there. Aaron Knapp. To four ninety nine, the K is silent, baby. For the Marlins, I don't know if it is or not. You know, I just think that's the prayer, uh, correct pronunciation. I'm so happy the Patriots suck and they lost to the Dolphins. <laughs> Dude, I haven't been this happy since Tom Brady broke his leg years ago. So happy. I hate the Patriots. I really do. Bryce Wilson with the cracked ice mojo. Nice looking card for the Braves. And Bowman Draft coming out Friday. That's going to be a kind of a big deal. Oh, no, for sure. That, that's what I'm saying, Ra Ra. That's why it's, you know, it's that time of year again where the Patriots lose in Miami. Still though, rah rah. I know you're and you're and you're and you're a real Patriots fan. So I'm not gonna break your balls as much as you know the b most bandwagon Patriots fans. But uh, dude, you know th that that kind of hurt. Tell me that did not hurt. You know you thought you had it in the bag, and to lose in that fashion has gotta hurt. It has to. Let's try to keep everything separate here. The one seed is just about gone. Yep, we about ruined your uh, chances at uh, home field advantage throughout. I mean, you still got a chance. You know, Kansas City could, you know, 
lose a game or two, you never know. They almost lost today. They almost lost to the Ravens. Although I'm glad they beat the Ravens because now the Dolphins still have a chance. There's a four-way tie for the uh, the sixth and final uh, wild card spot. So Dolphins, we just got to take care of business. You know, take it a week at a time. I know it's cliche, but we just got to keep winning. If we can win out the rest of the season, we got a good chance to make the playoffs for the first time in like eight years. So I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. I am hoping. Yeah, the Ravens gave it a good go against the Chiefs, man. I, I really was not expecting that. I thought the, thought the Chiefs were going to run... Rough shot through them, boys. But, man, Ravens got a low-key, a really good defense. A lot of speed out there. They were able to contain the Chiefs' big playmakers, more or less. My man Saquon Barkley put on for me, as usual. My boy gave me 25.7 points today. 170 rushing yards and a touchdown. That kid's a rookie running back, and he's probably the top three running back in the league right now. Argue, all right, let's argue if you want. The numbers will back me up. I haven't seen the Bears Rams game. Is that is that tonight or something? It is tonight. Oh man, that's gonna be a good one. I think that's gonna be a big time game. It's definitely gonna be bigger for the Bears more so than the Rams. Uh, I think the Bears have a lot to prove, especially Trubisky. I think he's playing tonight, if I'm not mistaken. He had a bit of an injury bug the last few weeks. So, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. I think Bears have probably top 10 defense in the NFL. The Rams have probably the best offense in the in the NFL. And I have the best Butterfingers here in fucking Miami, Florida, apparently. Excuse my French. My dumbass let them cards fall there. But anyway... Yeah, man, that, that game should be good. Should be a good one. Should be real good. George Kittles has 210 receiving yards at halftime. No touchdowns, though? That kid has come out of nowhere and become a top five tight end in the league. My boy Eric Ebron put work in for me tonight. My boy had uh, 65 yards and a touchdown. Eric Ebron, another young, uh, up and uh, up and up and coming whippersnapper, if you will. I should have started Aaron Rodgers over Drew Brees, but it's all good though. I need Juju to put in more work for me though. Juju already got 54 yards and a touchdown. I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna need more than that. I'm gonna need more than that. How about them Dolphins? Oh, man. Hey, listen. If you have a problem with me talking about the Dolphins, you might want to put me on mute. Because uh, <laughs> I'm going to be talking about them all day. Damn, Mahomes threw for almost 400 yards? Shit. Alright, on to the third box here. Let's see what we got. Good luck, y'all. Oh, boy. All those freaking birds that they released from the parrot jungle. We got like, uh, it's kind of like a... I'm sure you guys have been to a zoo before. What's up, Eric? There is this uh, there's this zoo here in Miami called the Parrot Jungle, and it's exactly what it sounds like. It's it's a zoo for all types of exotic birds, but it's like exclusive to birds. And I don't know. I feel like they they let the birds go at like the same time every night. Because, you know, the, the zoo's like, I want to say a mile or two away from the office here. So it's slightly annoying to see the same freaking green parrots 
come and uh, mess with my mojo. Mahomes, yeah, Mahomes already got like 40 plus touchdowns. I don't know what his inter interceptions are, are looking like. I want to say he has less than 15 interceptions, which if that is the case, that's a pretty good ratio, especially for a first-year starter. But uh, as somebody said earlier in the chat, I think the Ravens kind of exposed them a little tonight, or I should say today. You, you got you to gotta blitz that man. Put pressure on him. And thinks, you know, you might have a chance. Shed Long with a Reds autograph right there for you. Very nice. Not numbered, unfortunately, but there you go, Reds, with a hit. I'm, I'm just, I just hope that uh, that Bears-Rams game is competitive. I don't want to see a blowout. I'm low-key rooting for the Bears just because I like to root for the underdog. I think the Bears are an underdog in that matchup. Where are they playing? Are they playing in Chicago or are they playing in LA? That's another factor. Because if I'm not mistaken, it's kind of cold in, in Chicago right now. So that would definitely be a factor for them LA boys. Oh, the Dolphins. Oh, my God. That game was so crazy. I wish I was there. If I did, if I was there, I probably would have fainted. Just just from just pure, just pure unbridled joy. And looking at the Patriots fans in the, oh, my God. It was awesome. parents Gronk is out for the year did he really break his ankle I would not be surprised my boy Kenyon Drake put the Jets on his uh, That's my problem with Patriot fans, man, is I, I feel like, by and large, a lot of them are just bandwagon. Michael Baez, or Mikhail Baez, crack ties there for the Packers. You know, I, I don't remember seeing that many Patriot fans in Miami back when Drew Bledsoe was their quarterback, and, you know, before then, you know, when, when, they, when they freaking sucked and the Dolphins were running the division. You know, I don't remember seeing that many Patriots fans. And, you know, and then Tom Brady comes along. They start winning Super Bowls and, you know, building a little dynasty. Then out of nowhere, I see a whole bunch of Patriots fans. So, you know, you, you put two and two together. Justin Williams, the 499 Rays. Okay, Eric. Well, you know, thank you for that. I can only assume it's bad. As most emails are. So not looking forward to checking that. But I will do so. It, it is it is part of my job. Aaron out there to 150 Phillies. Alfredo Rodriguez 150 Reds. Oh Eric, whoa. Let's see what we got here. Man, why would they put Gronkowski at safety? I'm still trying to understand that decision. I guess they, you know, I guess to protect against a long heave or whatever. But the Dolphins were at like the 30-yard line. We're at like the 30-25-yard. We're right on our own 25-30-yard line. 
Ryan Tannehill with a bad ankle, even with a good ankle, there's no way that dude's going to launch that ball 70 yards on a Hail Mary. I don't care, Ra Ra. There is no way. You know, that's that that is all that I Yeah, Dan, this is the last box. Uh that is bad coaching of the Patriots. There is no way. No way that the Dolphins are going to go for a Hail Mary on that play. Like they like they should have seen that cuz Tannehill doesn't have that arm. Tannehill cannot throw that 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 long a ball. It would have been a 50-yarder at minimum. So that that they that was I don't know I feel like the Patriots kind of dropped the ball on that one. I'll tell you what though Gronk ain't gonna be on the hands team no more. It's like it's like Bill says, just do your job. Gronkowski did not do his job. Took a bad angle and he slipped. But kudos to the Dolphins for making that happen, man. Especially King and Drake. To have the vision to swerve in and out of traffic like that and then put the jets on. To get to that corner, come away with the W, man. It's nice to see the Dolphins finally running the ball, man. Frank Gore was an absolute beast tonight. Uh, uh, well, rah rah. No, no, I, I blame, uh, I blame Gronkowski for his shitty cleats. How about that? No, I blame whoever thought it was a good idea to put Gronk on the hands team. <laughs> yeah, and you know, that's another thing. You know, Gronkowski was probably hung over, you know. Like I said earlier, there are a lot of things to do in Miami. <laughs> and the main one is having a great time. And Gronk knows how to have a great time. And we did have Art Basel this weekend. So this weekend in Miami was, you know, it, it gets a little, little bit extra crazier. You know, all the weirdos and all the freaks come out for Art Basel. And uh, this is the last box here, so. Good luck, everybody. Especially those without a hit. Gronk always has a great game against the Dolphins, though, for, you know, receiving or whatever. He got his first red zone touchdown of the season uh, against the Dolphins. You know, it's it's, it's kind of what we do. Oh, you haven't uh, accomplished anything in a while? Play the Dolphins, and I guarantee you have, like, a career game. We are good for that. I'm just, I'm really, really proud of my boys. The way they fought, kept fighting, never gave up. Yeah, that's that's what it takes to change the culture around. Now we just got to do it on the road, man. We've been really good at home this year. We're 6-1, and one, but we suck on the road. You know, we got a lot of injuries. We've been dealing with a lot of injuries, but so does every team in the NFL, so that's not an excuse. Mitchell White to 125 for the Dodgers. Really proud of my boys, man. That was a sick, 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 sick game. And, of course, coming away with a W always makes it better. But, I'm, you know, I'm surprised that we, you know, Tannehill showing a lot of uh, a lot of guts. That, and, you know, he was out there slinging, slinging the rock. Just like this kid for the Braves, Christian Pache. What's going on, Chase? How you doing? The Braves with a hit right here. little autograph action. It's not numbered, but it's nice. Anyways. That's another thing, man. The, the Dolph I mean, the Patriots made a lot of uncharacteristic mistakes. You know, they, they kind of beat themselves, and they, they kind of never do that. They never do that, actually. 
Laskowski missed, he missed a he missed a field goal and an extra point. That's four points off the board right there. A little point shaving maybe. And yo, you got you also got to give kudos to the Dolphins defense, man. At the end of the set, you know, right before halftime, you know that sack against Tom Brady was huge. Ran the clock out. You know that that could have been a good six points right there. So you know, definitely got to give big ups to the Dolphins defense stepping up big time when they had to. You know, I really wish we could get to the quarterback more, but we you know we've been going through a lot of we've gone through a lot of injuries, and we got like two rookies playing on the D line too. Yep, exactly, right, right, exactly. I saw, I saw the game. I saw the game. Yeah, you gotta give credit to the Dolphins' defense. Dan and Santana, the two fifty for the Dodgers. Not to mention, we were without, we were without our best uh, cornerback, who has been, he leads the NFL in interceptions. And he's uh, probably Miami's brightest star on defense, Xavier Howard. That kid has been playing out of his mind the last few weeks. And he was set to give Brady fits tonight, or I should say today. And we still came away with a W without our best DB. That is big time. Hopefully we can get him back uh, moving forward, man, because we, we definitely need his skills. That boy is a shutdown corner. Only in his third season. I like the I like the Dolphins, man. We 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 got a nice bright future ahead of us. You know, uh, we might not make the playoffs this year, and even if we do, we're probably not gonna go far. But you know, I like the makeup of the team moving forward. I still think we need a quarterback, though. As much as Tannehill has shown flashes here and there, I, I still don't think he's the the franchise quarterback we've been looking for since Marino. We might have to draft one in the first round. I don't know. Are there any uh, college quarterbacks I should keep my eye on them? Maybe that kid from Oklahoma. Or maybe uh, Tua from Alabama. I don't know. What do, what do you guys think? We got Helio Ramos of the Giants cracked eyes business. Uh, Hawk says it shows on your eBay descriptions that you're breaking 2018 playoff football tomorrow, but none of the teams are listed. Uh, you probably got to keep scrolling, man. You probably got to keep scrolling. Let me uh, finish this up, though, and I'll see what's going on with that. Not exactly sure what you mean. But let me finish this up here. I'll see what's going on. Uh, Hawks. Yeah, man, just just keep scrolling. You should be able to find it. Uh, but let me finish up here, and I'll, I'll see what's up. I am almost dead. Kyler Murray is going to play baseball. Smart move. Way more money in baseball. And you don't take nearly, and, you know, nearly the amount of abuse that you would if you played football. Greer from West Virginia. Gonna have to uh, start doing some research. NFL draft is gonna be upon us before you know it, and that's gonna do it for the break. So, quick recap here. We got. I'm gonna go through the number cards. We got Dennis Santana, 250 Dodgers. Michelle White, 125 Dodgers. Uh, Alfredo Rodriguez, 150 Reds. Aaron Althair, 150 Phillies. Justin Williams, 499 Rays. Aaron Knapp. 499 Marlins, Logan Allen, 499 Padres, uh, Luis Gohara, 150 Braves, Brandon Rogers to 75 Rockies, Jerry Kendall, 150 for the Dodgers, Chris Rodriguez, 250 Angels, Carlos Correa to 250 Astros. And of course, what you want to see, the autographs. Christian Pache, Braves, Shedlong Reds. Sandro Fabian of the Giants and the big time hit right here, baby. Royce Lewis Gold, number 33 of 50. That's uh, 
that's kind of big time right there. Very nice. Nice hit for the Twins. And that's it for the break. Thank you, eBay. We'll get it out to you.